multiplayer games, the nightmare of game devs. Now, some of you might know that I recently made my first ever multiplayer game, which also happened to be my first ever 3D game. And you can check out that video up above if you would like. And let me tell you, it was an absolute nightmare. Reason being that Goldat, the game engine that I used to make the game, has a severe lack of multiplayer tutorials. Specifically, it only has tutorials covering a peer-to-peer -peer connection, except for this one made by Game Development Center, which is actually a tutorial for a server to client connection except uh, that tutorial is way more advanced for the purpose of my project so I decided to take things into my own hands and decided to make my own multiplayer tutorial series. So I'm going to be showing you how to create a multiplayer top-down game using a server to client connection. Now obviously I can't do all of this in one video so for this first video I'm going to be showing you how to create the server and the client and get it to connect to one another. Now obviously since it's a server to client connection you will need two projects one for the server and one for the client. Without further ado let's jump right in. So the first thing we want to do is we want to set up a new script. So we're going to go to the script tag, file, new script, and we're going to call this script server. Then we're going to create a new folder and we're also going to call this server. Now the naming does matter and it is case sensitive. So you want to make sure that it has the same names on the client and server and that your files have the same node path. Otherwise none of the code will work. Back in our script we want to set a constant. We're calling it default IP and setting it equal to 127.0.0.1 which is your device's local IP address. Then we're making another constant called default port and setting it equal to 3234. Now this is just a random port number that I'm using. You can use a different number that you want as long as it's not already assigned. Now we're making a net another variable called network and setting it equal to network multiplayer init dot new and then setting up two other variables, one for selected IP and selected port. And we're not actually assigning these variables just yet. We'll do that later. Then we're making another variable called local player ID, set it equal to zero. And then we're making a sync variable called players and setting it equal to an empty dictionary. And we're gonna do this also for a sync variable called player data, which is also gonna be an empty dictionary. Now the sync keyword, you can read up on it if you look it up in the documentation. But basically what it is, is it's defining a function as being able to be accessed across the network and you can actually synchronize the data across the clients. Now in our code, we want to set up a function ready and do git tree that connect network peer connected, connect it to ourselves and then set up the method or function name to be underscore players underscore underscore connected and then we just duplicated that line and changed network peer connected to network peer disconnected and then the player connected to player disconnected then we want to start another line and do get tree dot connect connection failed connected to ourselves once again and then underscore connected underscore fell and then we have to do this one more time so get tree dot connected or connect and then in this case it's going to be server disconnected and then connected to ourselves and then underscore server underscore disconnected then we want to actually set up a function to connect to the server so function underscore connect to server and then get tree dot connect and this case is going to be connected to server and then we're once again going to connect it to ourselves and then this time the method is going to be called connect connected okay and these uh, connections are basically built in Goldat signals that uh, use Goldat's uh, built-in network API Anyway, after that line that we just did, we want to write network.createClient and you can read up on client by control clicking on it and it gives you more information on it. And inside the parentheses for that function or method, we want to add selected IP and then selected port. Then underneath that line, we want to do git tree dot set network peer and inside the parentheses we want to add network or pass network to it and make sure that you actually write dot not an underscore like I just did and obviously you can control click on the set network peer and read more up on it if you would like 
And now we're actually going to start connecting the methods to the signals that we connected. So we're going to start with the player connected method here. So function underscore player connected. And then we can pass the ID value to it. And for now, we're just going to do print player and then plus str and then the ID plus space connected. And now we're going to do something similar for the player disconnected. So we're going to write uh, function player disconnected, pass the ID again, and then we're going to copy the print line above and change the connected to be disconnected. And this is temporary. We might adjust it later on in this tutorial series. And then we want to do this for the remaining signals as uh, signal methods. So we want to do function connected OK. And then inside that function, we want to print successfully connected to server. Then uh, we're going to set up our function connected fail. And inside this function, we want to print connection failed. Or in this case, I'm writing failed to connect. You can write honestly whatever you want uh, as long as it makes sense to you. And then the last function we have to write is function underscore server disconnected. And we're just going to print server disconnected. And that's pretty much it for our client. Now we just got to go to project, project settings, and under the auto load tab, we want to add our server script as a singleton. A singleton is basically a senior script that will automatically run on runtime and it can be accessed from anywhere. Now we're going to start working on the server side. So we're just going to start by setting up a normal node and then we're calling it server and then we're creating a new folder called server. Then we're going to make attach a script to the server node that we just added. We're going to call this server as well and save it in our server folder. And now in the actual script, we're going to do var network is equal to network multiplayer init dot new var port is equal to 3234, which is the same as in our client. And then var max players is equal to four. In this case, you can uh, change this value. I think the maximum numbers that you can actually set it to is in the 3000 something. I don't know the exact number, but anyway, in our ready function, we want to do start server and then we actually want to write that function so function start server inside that function we're doing network that creates server passing the port and the max players into it then we want to do git tree dot set network peer and then also pass the network into this then underneath that line we want to do network dot connect peer connected self and then player connected and then we can do this one more time. But in this case, it's going to be dot connect peer disconnected self and then player disconnected. And like I said, these are built in signals that go dot has using the go dot uh, built in multiplayer API. And then we're just going to do print server started and then we're going to write a new function uh, for the connected signal. So in this case, it's going to be the player connected. We're passing the player ID and then we're just going to print the player and then str player ID. And then I forgot to add the plus sign and then we want to do another plus sign after the player ID and do connected. And then we're going to do the player disconnected function. So we're going to again pass the player ID. And then in this time, we're just going to duplicate the line uh, from the uh, player connected and change the connected to disconnected. And then we just got to save, make sure that it has the exact same name as in the client, like I said before. And if we run, you will see it says server started. And if we go back to our client and before we can actually test it, we're going to set up a simple lobby here that we're just going to use for the moment. We're obviously going to change it later on and add more things to it as we need. So I just added a lobby, a button, and added the button under the center container. So the button's a child of the center container. I made the text be join game. And then I'm saving the lobby in a new folder called lobby. And I'm making sure that I'm using lowercase uh, for it. I'm following Goldot's styling guide and naming conventions. And then I just connected the buttons uh, press signal to the lobby. And I'm making sure that I call the connected to server function uh, it, when the button is pressed by doing server dot underscore connected to server. And now 
I want to go into my editor, editor settings, and scroll down and find debug, and then remote port, uh, change that to a different value. And if I run it, it gives me an error. Uh, the reason uh, it gives me this error is because apparently I wrote all this server code uh, and not in the actual server script. So uh, make sure you actually wrote all this code in the actual server script. And if you run, it also gives you another error. And this is because I'm using selected IP and selected port in my create client, which we actually haven't defined yet. So for now, uh, make sure that it's default IP and default port. And now if we run, and press join game as you can see our player actually connects and it does say we successfully successfully connected to the server and if we look at our server it also tells us that the player connected and with that you're done and yeah hopefully your brain's not fried and uh yeah you'll find the links to the github project down below in the description and yeah as always if you like the video leave a like and consider subscribing and hopefully i'll see you guys in the next one see you guys later